Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, to introduce the 44th President of the United States of America, please welcome Sheila Babauta, representative of the Northern Mariana Islands and an Obama Foundation Asia Pacific leader. Sheila. Half a day, Tiro, Casalelia Menko. My name is Sheila Jack Babauta, daughter of Diego Regis Babauta and Dolorina Wilbacker Jack Babauta. I was born and raised in the Mariana Islands on an island called Saipan, next to the Marianas Trench, the deepest point of the world's ocean. Several years ago, I asked President Obama a question about the military presence in the Pacific Islands. He answered with, raise awareness, gather allies, and unify voices. I took those powerful words with me and kept them close. They've guided me here. I am at COP26 to raise global awareness and consciousness around ways to protect and heal Mother Earth. I am here to gather allies from and for indigenous communities around the world. As the first stewards of the land and ocean, our traditional knowledge can guide the way. Altogether, we hold the keys to solving the issues of militarization, climate change, and climate colonialism. We are not passive victims. And I am here to amplify the voices of those who live on the front lines. On my island, storms are now unpredictable and frequently turn into super typhoons, strong enough to impact our economy, destroy homes, and create fear at the very sound of wind gusts and heavy rain, all while our shoreline continues to disappear. As a son of the Asia Pacific, President Obama understands how indigenous people are the keepers of the land and that we are deeply connected to it. He recognizes impacted communities must have a seat at the table as we ensure accountability and action for all parties who create large emissions. Young people must do and are doing our part as well. As the youngest elected official in my House of Representatives, I feel this drive to action every day, and I am not the only one. As President Obama told us at our gathering of Obama leaders, we are the ones we've been waiting for. We have the wisdom of our elders, the enthusiasm of our youth, who have taken their place as leaders in this movement. We must recognize and respect this leadership and see it for the renewable resource that it is. We know it's up to us, and so does he. Please join me in welcoming President Barack Obama. And thank you, Sheila, for that outstanding introduction and for all the work that you are doing in a part of the world that is feeling the effects of climate change right now. Thank you for making what sometimes can seem a bunch of abstract numbers painfully, immediately real. Uh, so we're very grateful for her.